welcome back to the channel boys welcome to 73 fans welcome to diesel fans welcome power stroke fans welcome everybody this is red's garage if you haven't subscribed already please click the subscribe button down below i would appreciate it so much and make really good content for you guys um i hope you guys had a safe new year nobody in cast no but no broken legs no broken fingers I hope you enjoyed the holidays. I enjoyed mine. I got a new puppy. And I did this. Don't worry, the truck is still fine. It was special fireworks, nothing got burnt, nothing caught on fire. This year I'm gonna get the truck back on the road. I'm gonna fix the AC. It's a hole in the condensers, only hold gas for two, three, maybe two months. And then it's, it doesn't cool as much anymore. Gonna bled the clutch system. Gonna upgrade the fuel system. I got a new Bosch pump for it. And today I'm gonna go over my e-fuel setup for you guys. A few of you guys been asking what kind of e-fuel setup I have on my truck. So today I'm gonna show you. Basically I made a cheap system. I made it myself with parts I got online. Some information I got online. How to make it. Um, it's an aftermarket Amazon fuel pump. Which I don't recommend. I recommend a Bosch or a Walbro or an OEM pump for these trucks and I'm gonna show you how I made a regulator from the old from the stock one you, go, you can use the stock regulator on your truck to for the e-fuel setup so I'm gonna show you everything this is my regulator and fuel line setup I use the stock regulator a lot of modifications to get it this size. Insta sorry for that. Installed a Schrader valve so I can check for pressure. Stock lines, stock fittings. I don't know if you can see it. There's a special band. Link in the description for all the parts that I use. You can use the stock lines if you want with the special fitting and the banjo bolts down there, uh, or you can run all new lines to the regulator or buy a regulator, more expensive, nicer one. That one didn't give me any problems, been over a year. It's holding pressure. I did the BB mod on it. It's about 65 to 70 psi and that's about it on my e-fuel setup this is the cheap way I did it you can buy those nice ass kits but uh, it's really expensive for me because I don't live in the States import tax and all that stuff so I made my own once everybody wants a diesel life until it comes time to do diesel stuff dirty everything's dirty Let's clean it up and we can upgrade this. Thank you. 
this was my setup. This is how it basically works. I got filter housing from Amazon. I'm gonna put the link down in the description. Two of them. Um, Amazon pump, which I don't recommend. I recommend this one. The Bosch 044. This one I recommend. And I made this nice stainless steel housing. The bolts behind it. And this sit on top of the chassis, the chassis, the truck chassis, and bolts came down here. So they was hanging underneath the truck like this. Like this. This is how it works. This is tank. One line comes from the tank goes in here, goes through the pre-filter with water separator, this is a pre-filter pre with water separator, Go the pump sucks it, goes through the pump, it goes through another filter, this is the post filter, and this, this thing goes to the engine. So, real simple setup, um, I've been having problems that the pump cannot keep up with the higher tune settings, so that's why I upgraded to a boy. I also made this bracket, this pump, with some rubber insulation, some vibration stuff, put it inside here, tap it down. It was working fine for this pump, but the new pump is a bit bigger, so maybe I'm gonna use a new clamp. Just changed the pump. There was an old, nasty, old pump, old Amazon pump. Wasn't keeping up with my hot tunes and bigger injectors, big, a bigger high pressure oil pump. Wasn't keeping up. So, sorry for the mess. My mess. I upgrade to this Bosch 044 OEM replacement pump. I went out and got a fitting for it. Hose bar fitting. I put a hose, cl hose clamp on here just to be sure, and over here just to be sure. Also, get rid of the old pull test. Nothing moves. Looks solid. I'm using a Fleet Guard FS1212 fuel water separator pre filter, and this is a FF5020 post filter. This should, this should hold my bigger injectors and higher, hotter chip demands. Okay boys, that was my e-fuel setup, my custom cheaper e-fuel setup. I used the stock regulator out of the, my stock fuel bowl, I cut it off, did a few mods with it. If you really want to know, let me know in the comments. 
like this video subscribe to my channel and I will make a dedicated video how to make the smaller regulator for you so you can save a bunch of money the nicer ones aeromotive ones are about 150 to 200 dollars so I made that to save some money if you guys like this video subscribe like and thank you for watching and let me know in the comments what you think about my e-fuel setup um, this month I'm gonna dedicate thing I'm gonna de dedicate this month to working on that truck to get it back on the road so I can daily drive it stick around and wait for a video each week about me fixing that truck thank you keep watching and subscribe <laughs>